Hello everyone and welcome back to another 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm Wokey and I'm here with today's guest, Toast. Hello, I am here for my yearly appearance. <laughs> yes, and then I'm also here to show him the game we are going to be playing for this year. For as long as I don't know what it is. No, for as long as it's possible because I don't know how long this is going to last, but here it is. Oh no. That's right, it is... <laughs> Uh, Yakuza Dead Souls, a better known as Like a Dragon, um, Like a Zombie? Is that, I think, what the Japanese name is? I have no clue. Uh, a this ga game is basically a mystery to me. It is, and here we are. We can see all the amazing things. Something has happened to Kamurocho. <laughs> uh, so this was, was never localized, was it? It was. It's actually currently... Oh, it was. It's trapped on the PS3. This is the English version. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. The, famously, after Ishin, after they did uh, Like a Dragon, Ishin, the new one that they just did, um, they said, we have no plans for Dead Souls, <laughs> because Ishin did not sell well enough. Which is a shame, because this game is, from what we can tell from this intro bit, insane. <laughs> <laughs> it is. This looks like standard Yakuza stuff. Yeah. So if you don't know, this takes place, I believe, before the event, after the events of 3, but before 4. Um, and also, we will talk spoilers from it because it's kind of important for where we are right now. You'll also notice some characters in it that maybe should not be in it. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a bit odd. I think there's, I've seen a couple people that shouldn't be alive. Yes, the, the one specific is, of course, the Ryuji in the background. Akiyama yeah. was also in 4, but none of the other characters from 4 are believe in it besides him. Really, this is truly the Yakuza 4. So, <laughs> we're going to start a new game, and then I'm going to try my best to try and get this to work. So, the reason I say we're going to play as much as we can is, one, Yakuza is an extremely lore-heavy game. We're going to be lucky if we see any game play in about 30 minutes. <laughs> the other thing is... The PS3 emul emulation for this game is currently in a state of them saying, like, hey, we think you might be able to beat this, <laughs> but it's not fully playable. It won't be stable. Basically, yes. That is what they tried to say here. So here we go. Go in here. It's a damn shame this game is, like, looking like never to come. If anything, I would take just a not a dolled up remaster, just like a, hey, get this available in other systems, because <laughs> it's insane yeah. that this is locked to PS3. When I was a in college, you could find copies of this game for about nine bucks. That's not how much you can find it for nowadays. This oh, game is I'm sure it's very expensive. Mad expensive if you try. So here we are at uh, the Sunshine Orphanage. Morning Glory, as <laughs> I think is translated to later <laughs> parts. Here, here is the fun bit for me. Uh, my yak is a knowledge mm. into with uh, two. Really? I, I have played I have played zero one and two uh -huh. uh, great games uh, I'd, I'd probably rank them in that order <laughs> I really I really do think two is better than one <laughs> I, but, I think I was burnt out by the time I got the two and that just it's not fair for me to say that but that's just how I feel about it that's fair I will say I if also you, miss styles yeah if you were not a fan of the way two played Six is a worse version of two in terms of oh gameplay. Oh boy! <laughs> I I have been telling myself for years I'll play three through six at some point. I'm not sure how. I'm not, that might be a lie. I was able to do it. I think you could do it. It, it takes a lot of effort though. For th three yeah. is literally what I'll say. Controversial Yakuza opinion. Three is the death screen. If you can't beat <laughs> three, you will never be able to reach the other games. Yeah. Uh, cause three is the one that with the worst combat. Oh my god! Mm, that's, what that's happened? That's what I've heard. Three is a game of all time. Yeah, in, its story is one of the best, but its gameplay is some of the worst that you'll ever experience in your life. Also, it was just sunshine like a minute ago. What, what happened here? Yeah, that that that's in uh, um, where where the hell is that? It's in Hawaii, I believe, is where the orphanage is. Because this is the mm. orphanage from three, actually. Shun Akiyama. This is from Yakuza 4. This is what makes it worth it to get past 3. I absolutely love Shun. I wish him. I wish he would get a spin-off game like they are doing with Mashima. Yeah. In um in Yakuza. That game looks so wacky. 
It is. Also, the, the air juggles that he does in that new Majima game, he's taken from Akiyama, because Akiyama in 5 has air juggles. <laughs> so basically, 5 Akiyama's Dante. <laughs> yes. When you play that game, everyone plays kind of normal, and then you get to Akiyama, and he's like fucking throwing cartwheel kicks and jumping in the air. It's insane. I love him. So here we are, now back in Tokyo before everything went bad. So to give a quick background on Akiyama, he was there. He's a rich, um, he's a rich dude who like funds other people. He's like a loner, um, not in the sense of like he's alone all the time. Uh, he loans money to other people because he got money from when the Millennium Tower just got destroyed at the end of one. Remember that part where they put all the money? I, yeah. <laughs> he collected money and he became like a super billionaire after being a bum. That's so, awesome. It is. So now he gives the people like different um, objectives to earn money from him. <laughs> He's really cool. <laughs> this is also his assistant, Hannah. She's the com comedic relief, you can tell because of the music that's playing in the background when she does anything. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, right here, it runs perfectly good. Just wait till we get to gameplay. Oh, yeah. Get ready if for this. If we do. The um, cutscene graphics of Yakuza have held up really well, I think. It's the part where you get into the actual city is where you'll go like, oh, yeah, this is a PS3 game. Yeah. This, this, is, a, this is the PS3. This is the PS3. This is the PS3 I know and love. <laughs> this is beautiful. Don't try and weasel out of this. The frame rate. I actually don't even know if this is uh, because of the emulation or this is just actually natively how it ran in PS3. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it ran a little better than this. It's very likely, but it's all right. We make do. This is the trials and tribulations. This, this video will serve as anything more. It's Komaki. Hold on a minute. Huh? That's right. Remember me? I like... If you don't know this, by the way, Komaki is still in the games. He That's is awesome. He is still up upwards to... in. He's in Infinite Wealth, I believe. Still. And he still looks like this. He's looking like... Ama That's amazing. It is. I love Komaki. Yakuza is one of the very few series that can have one old man show up for the next 50 or for the next 40 years and no one questions how he is still exactly the same as always. Thank you for the experience points. Let me see. You can also press start and you can see some of the, the item stuff here. Check out my email. I got no mail. Check out my missions. I got nothing. <laughs> this challenge. Nothing. My abilities. Ooh. Actually, I think this is also a shooter. But we'll see if we get to the gameplay of it. That sounds familiar. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah, there's a lot of weird. What I've heard. There's a lot of weirdness for this game. That's why I'm not surprised that they don't want to spend time trying to remake it. Because it was such a weird time. Like even the name Dead Souls is um, clearly trying to copy off of Dark Souls. <laughs> I can say Kamurocho has not changed. No. I love that you... It is consistent. It is consistent. You can still play in this exact Kamurocho if you play Infinite Wealth right now. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that changed is I think they're not called Club Sega anymore. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You have an appointment? Yeah, that shoe completely just walked in. Is this an illegal Yakuza shoe business? <laughs> I was about to say, what are they doing? <laughs> they, they're clearly doing something illegal. I just don't know what. What does that say? Boss has 80 pairs of shoes. We need them all clean. Who's trying to interfere in our illegal shoe business? Oh, no! <laughs> stick close. <laughs> They're here for our shoes. This feels in, like an insane amount of force for one guy, by the way. Unless that guy is Kiryu Cosmo, in which case, they need more men. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a force strong enough to stop Kiryu. No, there isn't. I can I can tell you this right now. There's not. 
Unless you go through Infinite Wealth. I don't know how much you know about what happened, what's going on with Kiryu, but some stuff is going on with Kiryu. He's dead. I've heard some stuff, but I'm not gonna say anything, considering yeah. that it's a newer game. Yeah, that's why I'm not saying anything. You, you just know that he looks like Yu Narakami from Persona 4 for some reason. <laughs> I do know that, yes. Which takes a while to get used to. He is Mr. Persona 4. This is what it feels like to walk into the business in the mor in the mornings. This is how it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically a chew five gum commercial up until they cut to Akiyama over here. Oh, is there a club second? Can I just go in there? Now that would actually be hilarious. The true Yakuza experience would be me going, are you ready for some zombie time? And then going <laughs> after I play some... <laughs> That would be, like, the most authentic Yakuza experience of all time. Yeah. It's like, oh, maybe I can play some Right out of this cutscene, just go walk into an arcade. Play some Virtual Fighter. This uh, this game is also where I think Rise from the Top comes from. The famous uh, Majima song. Oh, neat. Yeah, so there is karaoke, if I ever get there. <laughs> He looks like Yakuza. Better stay out of this after he jumped out a window and then stood up. What the? It's the right reaction to seeing this. If you saw someone like this, would you ask them, are they okay, sir? I feel like if I saw a zombie, I would immediately be like, run away, or if I had a weapon, just try and kill them. Yeah. He's currently fighting his inner main character energy of not wanting to use a gun to kill someone. Getting shots a bitch, <laughs> he's right. <laughs> I love this guy already. Oh, I love Akiyama so much. <laughs> Valid question. Hot dog. New York style hot That's still in Infinite Wealth, by the way. Oh my god. That never goes away. That's one of my favorite things to look up whenever I play a new Yakuza game is see if the hot dog place is still there. <laughs> it is. We're gonna have to kill these dudes, Akiyama. Oi, oi. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the Yakuza characters would do really well in specifically Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Alright, let's see how well these uh, controls have aged. I'm gonna assume amazing. Press R1 to fire your weapon. Face targets to aim them automatically. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, nope, wrong button. <laughs> we got this. Okay, yes, there we go. Alright. This maybe doesn't control exactly like how I would want a, f a shooting game to, but it's working. Okay, that was a roll. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Okay. I got him. Easy. Easy. You've never seen <laughs> an easier experience <laughs> right here than unloading multiple bullets and them not going down. Alright, success. Hold down one to ready your weapon. This also causes the camera to lock behind the player, making it useful to quickly see in front of you. Use while running to strafe. Okay. You got it. Yeah, this is... 
Oh, you can't run around it at all. This is like, um, did you ever play Killer7? I have not, no. Let me run out of here. Killer7 had a similar style of, like, take your place and don't move during it. But also so do a lot of, like, old Resident Evil games, now that I think about it. Alright. No reason I shouldn't be shooting and walking around. Yeah, that's what I thought. Press L1 to move while aiming. Resident Evil's 4 and 5. Shit. Oh, there we go. You never played 5? 4 and 5 are the only two I've played. Oh, okay, I thought you said you didn't play it. Let's kick some zombie ass. I actually played 4 in VR. <laughs> you did? How was the experience? It was, for the most part, really fun. Um, I don't like how snipers work in VR. Oh, well, because you have to actually look for the scope? Yeah, the scope itself in VR just doesn't look great. That's... Oh, I see, I see. Nice shooting. I feel like I should be getting praise, and I feel like I'm about to get reprimanded for what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> this looks pretty bad, he says, after shooting, uh, like, 50 <laughs> bullets into us. <laughs> Five dudes. Yeah, two of which being police officers. Yeah. They're not gonna understand that, um, they were zombie-like. They came after me. Damn, that was crazy. None of us went to help. We, we all knew those were zombies, and we decided to just, like, step back and see how it was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's... Ooh. What were those people? That's a good question. So what do we do now? Let's head back to the office. We'll be safe. All right. Head to Sky Finance. The other cool thing about uh, Yakuza's 4 and 5 is that they play Dreams of Absolution from Sonic 06 in the in the clubs. Excuse me? Yeah, they do. Because, uh... That's kind of goaded. It is. They use... Uh, because it's Sega-related, they obviously can use whatever they want from... Yeah. For, for soundtrack reasons, so they decided to use that song. So whenever you're in a club, just randomly you hear, And every night... If you're gonna pull anything from 06, it's the soundtrack. No, they were right. The the devs behind them, the Yakuza team, know, knows what's up. Oh yeah, back to New Serena. Well, you can dog on that game all you want. Its soundtrack is Pretty really good. good. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, now here's a little <laughs> bit of learning. <laughs> here's the parts where I said, like, hey, they didn't say it was fully playable, they said you can play it. <laughs> what happened to him? I don't know, he went crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I need a smoke after that. I'm <laughs> It is kind of fucked up if you think about it. He woke up one day and was like, I guess I just murdered five people. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch me either. <laughs> Save progress? Yeah, sure. Hopefully this doesn't uh, screw anything. <laughs> Actually, don't know if it was possible to save in this. Part one, chapter two, cut off. This is actually one of the fastest chapter ones of Yakuza that I played. Any Yakuza game, yeah. Yeah. Bro, I can never sleep in a chair like that. I feel like I would be one of those uh, forward-facing ones, not back. I'd be always afraid that I was going to fall off the chair. Oh, John. Though I don't really sleep in chairs all that much. Yeah, I don't know. The last time I fell asleep in a chair. She's turning. 
This is how it starts. You get a cold. I love just seeing textures loaded. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that was kind of what it was like playing the PS3 game, but not to this extent. <laughs> yeah. I do remember playing Mass Effect and going so far before the textures could actually finish loading in, so they would just pop in all over the place. Zombie! Zombie schoolgirl as well. Press X to quickly dodge. Okay. No. There we go. Yeah, I'm dodging the shit out of you guys in my own office. Uh, okay. Well, kick cannot kill enemies. I'll knock them back. Oh. <laughs> of course, I'm missing every single shot. Uh. Uh. Press on your objects to grab them. Press R1 to use them as a weapon. Nope. Nope. We'll get there. Oh, Close yes. enough. Welcome back, B style. <laughs> Close enough. Same animation <laughs> to be 100% real with you. Yeah. Listen, every part of the buffalo is used. <laughs> Just gonna open a close fire here. Get reloaded real quick. Die. Alright, one of you is still alive. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I got some. No. Success. This is what success looks like. <laughs> Add three more to the list of known killed. He really slept in the zombie apocalypse happened in that period. Hanojo. <laughs> Oh man, is this going to be an escort mission? Because if so, this is where uh, everything goes bad. I will not be able to escort. <laughs> I'm terrible at escort missions. They also just weren't greatly designed, especially in this era. No, they were not. Some of the worst. Which is a shame because there is one game that is just nothing but one long uh, one of those. And it's actually very good, but it's all it did. Which was the Ico? Yes, it was Ico. Yeah, yeah. This is a strong man. I would not do this. I would have given up <laughs> the second I saw the stairs. There's a lot of PS2 games I should go play. You, yeah, you should. Ico is definitely one of them. Last Shut time up. I, I think, the last time I asked for a PS2 suggestion was you and uh, Violet telling me to play Persona 3. Yeah, and look. It's perfect. <laughs> look at me now. Look at you now. Playing Metaphor in theaters right now. I have not got that game yet. Neither do I, so don't worry about it. <laughs> it's on, it's on I, the, I saw it's, that. I, it's on the list. I saw that was coming out the same day as Sparking Zero. I was like, my love for Dragon Ball can't be surpassed. Yeah. Sorry, Atlas. Try again next time. Try again. Just, you're going to have to wait. Base form Jiren calls. <laughs> I wouldn't be into anything Atlas without Dragon Ball. It's true. Hope you don't mind us camping out. The where the unfortunately Sparking does not have any Halloween themed characters. They did not and add in Mummy Man, uh, the Invisible Man, and uh, <laughs> Dracula. You telling me that game could Devil Man. Devil Man. That game would have been 100% goaded if they had added Kid Krillin doing the cross. <laughs> this is why we need more Dragon Ball uh, content. 
Cure me, Bandai. Give me the ghost, uh, Gohan. I think the closest thing to horror in Sparking Zero is uh, trying to play against your brother while he picks Chiaotzu. <laughs> it's true. He's a master. He's a master at Chiaotzu. <laughs> when Chiaotzu says watch and learn, we learn. That scream Chiaotzu does will haunt your, your, your dreams. <laughs> they did not have to go all out on that one. No, but I'm glad they did. Alright. Use the map. You got it. All right, is anyone here? No. Uh, unfortunately, I have something at the moment. <laughs> okay, they're gonna. All right, all right, all right. I got this. Oh my god, they're trying to aim with a fucking controller. Level up. Oh, I got so. Damn it, I missed. It's okay. He doesn't. This looks like it's very fun. <laughs> I'm having a great time. Health gauge, earn points. Uh, enhance ability? What? Oh, gangster's pistol. I keep forgetting I'm pressing the wrong damn button. Shiny. Okay. So let's see, we can get head tracking. Ooh, yes. Please. <laughs> Please. Need any form of tracking. <laughs> I will take that any day. Oh god, don't tell me I'm, I'm about to be locked out because- no, okay, no. They recognize it. What the hell is this? Oh, this is- this is great. Oh man. <laughs> Suddenly the game is playable. <laughs> All I needed <laughs> was this ability. This is- this is my form of Kamaki Drop. It's called automatic targeting. Even if this game isn't canon, it'll be fine, because Kiri doesn't kill people in this if they're already dead. Oh, you're right. They thought of everything. I wanna hit somebody with this bike. Oh, shit. It's okay. They'll get there eventually. Actually, just the same B-style animation. <laughs> it, I'm telling you, they use everything. Alright, we're good. And there's nothing wrong with that. This in my opinion. Yes, you have to. It's it's hard. It can be a little bit weird to remember, but the same generation. Um, oh, damn it. Um, <laughs> Yakuza Zero actually released on the PS3. Yeah. It was a PS3 game. That it just so happened that everyone that played it was on the four or on PC. Yeah. Hmm. To be fair, people actually upgraded the PS4. <laughs> There's a good reason. Yes, there was. It PS had games. It did. One of the very few. The PS5. Some someday my PS5 purchase will be justified. I'm sure of it. What are you talking about? Mine's justified. I play Zenless Zone Zero on it, and I have a grand old time. <laughs> <laughs> the way it was intended uh, to be played. I I played Persona 3 Reload and SMT5 Vengeance on it only because I wanted the collector's edition of Reload. Very valid. Ah! Oh wait, I'm pressing the wrong button. Here we go. Yeah, eat shit. The fact that Metaphor has a PC collector's edition gives me hope that I won't have to buy another console. <laughs> One can hope. Oh yeah, I got a, oh, I got a cute Zero figure? Yeah, look at this. Hell yeah. This anime figure sold out when first release and still has value today. Does it still it has have value? more value. <laughs> Does it still have value in the fucking zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Somebody's gonna want it. You got a point there. <gasps> oh, this is easy. Too easy. Look at this. God's number one shooter coming up. God's number one shooter? Okay. <laughs> a lot of dead bodies up in here. Enhance my abilities. Let's see, what can we buy now? Because I have how many points? Just one, it looks like. What? I'm saying, check the basic tab. Oh. <laughs> Enhance focus. You just. Uh, <laughs> I'm just that. <laughs> Might not have enough for anything right Ultra now. Ultra focus. The difference between when you're in Sparking Zero mode. <laughs> 
Carry four weapons. This sounds pretty good, but I don't I don't need anything right now. I'm pretty good with this. I can't afford anything right now. I mean, don't call me out for it, but you're correct. Oh no, I should have reloaded. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, <laughs> I got there. We get in there. Can I be 100% real with you and say that I'm having a great time playing this? <laughs> this honestly looks like just one of those games It's like, you know it's not amazing, but it's still fun. There is a quality of game- Oh my god! There's a quality of game here that has not existed for a while here. Um, that is uh, on display here. This is uh, the, the reason why I still- Oh my god. There's so many fucking dudes here. All right, I'm just gonna ignore you all. I hope that's cool. Nope. Uh, no, no, there, there's a quality of game here that uh, doesn't exist for the most part nowadays. Like honestly, I feel like just spectating this. If you like Dead Rising, like especially like one and two, yeah, you'd have fun with this. Oh my god. Which hey, that 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 got a remaster. It did. I have to check that out at some point too. All right, we're fine. Go back on it. The other like I only thing, ever played two. There's also some moments in here where it's not the game. It's because I have weird mapping on uh, the current uh, emulator thing that I did, I forgot to fix last night. Oh god. Oh, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> We're just gonna walk around this room and press the shoot pistol button, and eventually someone will die in my general area. Do you remember that health pickup I picked up? You have a good time to use it. All right, we're good. We're back on it. Can I shoot him? Yes, I can. Dead end. Shit. Behind me? Oh. Fuck! <laughs> I did not see that guy coming. I saw he was running right towards me. This camera is like a little clunky is what I'll say. Oh, really? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, just a little bit. Alright, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Alright, you wanna come at me, guys? You wanna fucking... <laughs> you wanna fucking tango with God right now? I have an unlimited ammo pistol. What do you got? You ain't got no nothing. Hmm? This wall. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna kick down the door. Okay. New plan. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the door. Is that aid? Nope. Checkpoints. Thank you. I know they're coming from me. Oh, they are. I see them. Yeah. See, look, every step I learn something new that these zombies should be afraid of. Whether it be being able to automatically shoot them in the head or roll over this trash can and kick it instead of picking it up. I'm just him, unfortunately. Ignore the camera right now. <laughs> Ignore that. I sometimes am unaware of what's currently ahead of me. Or to the side of me. It's fine. It's not your fault. <gasps> like, like... Thank you. Anything here? Oh, I could just skip that sequence entirely. I dropped that bike for some reason. Do there have to be so many? There, that car. Focus now. Oh, shoot the car. The snipe gauge at the upper left corner will fill over time or by attacking enemies. Once it fills, you can unleash deadly heat snipe attacks. Huh. Raise the snipe. Oh, duh. I didn't read the instructions. I gotta say, it was honestly going up even though you missed. <laughs> oh, was it? That's hilarious. Yeah. Press. Not as much, but... Okay. That was not triangle. Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Alright, we're gonna try that again. I, say, I think, yeah. There we go. 
So that's a way to still have heat ban uh, actions in this game, then. That's cool. That is cool. All right, hold up, because if there's going to be... I forgot that Yakuza has these. I have to remap these controls real quick. <laughs> I have to <laughs> make sure that, okay, this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, and we are going to save it, and we're going to go from there. All right. <laughs> that should fix it. Okay. All right, yeah. Oh, well, no, we're good. Killed those zombies. They ain't got nothing on me, bro. They're about to die. Hell yeah. Big rock. Nah, man. Japan's been shut down, just like in Shen Megami Tensei Devil Survivor. You have I'll to that series at some point. You should check it out. I love that game. I should. I was kind of waiting to dive back into SMT spinoffs because there was rumors we'd get a writer re like remaster. Mm -hmm. I guess we're still waiting on that. So I don't want to play those games until that happens. I hope that one day they remake um, Devil Survivor because it has a sick song on it, but unfortunately they've only ever released it through the DS. So yeah, so that means you can, if you want to hear a great uh, bit ratey song. You can. Atlas was really good at making bangers and locking them to handhelds. Yeah. I think there was a 3DS version that maybe had a slightly better version of this one. Maybe. Yeah, there was a there was 3DS versions of those games. Like, Strange Journey 4, 4A, and I, I will trust your opinion on those games. Like, they were really good at making banger soundtracks for the 3DS and DS. They were. It was a great time. Now there is no DS. There is no 3DS. There is only it's supposed the to be a, Yeah, it's supposed to be a vinyl coming out at some point for 4 and 4A's soundtrack, and I want that. Really? That's yeah. Sick. I don't even have a vinyl player yet. I want to get one when I get a new place. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. That's the first thing you should I've try. Got it. I, don't think um, any, I don't think anything says I live here more than getting some kind of vinyl player. Yeah. <laughs> to, to let them really know. If it's I'm out no by that time person. and I have it, I would totally first thing I do would throw the SMT4 vinyl on there. I love that soundtrack. We need Kiryu Cosma. Who's gonna solve this zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Kiryu Cosma. I say, I'm both surprised and not that surprised that we just haven't really seen him yet. Like we saw him, but we haven't really seen him. There, this is these are what these games are now. During this specific period where there's multiple protagonists, like I think they they there's Kiryu is in them, but he's usually not like the main focus until like the end of the game. <laughs> And honestly, I, I, I get that. I mean, he's only the focus of every other game. Yeah. Like, in 5, you do his stuff first, and then 50 hours pass, and then it's time to finish the game. <laughs> the longest game in human recorded history is Yakuza 5, because it is uh, seven different games in one. Jeez. Like, it's, it's a lot of game. And it's, it's like um, five different uh, Yakuza spin-offs all in a single game. I unlocked a trophy. Yo, you get a like trophy! It. You think uh, you, you you like these sick fucking gaming skills? Real fucking trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to kill that tanker. Oh god. Oh fuck. Get away from me. I remembered I fixed the controls. Okay, okay. Eat gas! That is not how you're supposed to use a gas cylinder. It's fine. Really? You, li <laughs> you liked my new technique, not shooting the gas cylinder? Just kind of being near it? <laughs> Games in this era loved having propane tanks and red barrels. Yes, but very few would just let you beat them up on them instead of doing the thing that you're supposed <laughs> to do, which is throw them at them. Can you... Okay, there we go. Wait. Okay, yes. I unlocked it. Alright. Get over here, everyone. Come on, everyone, class trip. Oh god, this is bad. I mean, I'm at point blank range here. Is this gonna hurt me? No. I'm just too sick with it. No. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, who is directly ahead of me. Prepare to get shot. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. 
Easy. Easiest game of my life. I may not be the dragon of Dojima, but I'm the dragon of shooting dudes in the fucking head. <laughs> This is my Kamaki drop. You Kamaki drop into the floor, fool. You can get one too. Oh my god, these instant headshots are kind of insane. I'm not gonna lie. Oh fuck. Okay, nah. Okay. My one weakness is this camera. They should re-release this and just fix the camera. That's the only difference that they make. <laughs> Nothing else. Fix the camera. He might have just tackled me so hard that the game soft locked. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like that's where it ends, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us for 13 Nights of Halloween. The zombie has decided our end. <laughs> that random zombie froze the screen. <laughs> it's audio still playing, but it, it won't move. The music is bumping, but nothing else. Nothing. Oh, fuck, what did I do? <laughs> well, thank you for joining us this year, Toast. <laughs> thank you for having me. This was an experience. <laughs> this truly was. Look forward to it next year. I hope, really, they should release. I was, after this, I was planning, on maybe I can just beat this game entirely, but the fact that a random zombie could just tackle me and the game is over? <laughs> mm, Might maybe. be a little harder than that to finish yeah. the game. Yeah, so hopefully at some point... The uh, Sega does the right thing, does right by the fans, and really releases this in a way that everyone can play it. So I think that'd be fun. If we all buy the Ishin Remaster, surely. Go back in time and make everyone buy the Ishin Remaster, because I say to them, you don't understand, I need to have my shitty third-person shooter. <laughs> this is what was truly what we were going for. Nobody tell Loki I don't own Ishin. <laughs> no, I'm not surprised. <laughs> have you ever heard my pitch for uh, Yakuza Dead Souls 2? I have not. My pitch for it, because do you know the conceit about Ichiban, the new protagonist for Like a Dragon, a.k.a. Yakuza? I, I know of him. Okay, do, do you know what his specific gimmick is? Um, I don't know about any specific gimmicks. I just know that his games are more... Dra you know, turn-based Dragon Quest inspired. Okay, so the reason that they are like that is because he imagines himself like a Dragon Quest hero. So a <laughs> lot of, that's why that joke of like saying like, oh, we're gonna get through this through a grenade I picked up in my massive delusions <laughs> in the head, my, my rampaging schizophrenia is that a lot of the JRPGs is on everything that is happening inside Ichiban's head. So my pitch was to do a game like this where it's a zombie apocalypse except for it's all in Ichiban's head. So he's imagining <laughs> all the zombie creatures and stuff like that, and that's the way that you could do it while keeping it in real life. <laughs> where he'll that go would like, be fun. where he like because he will like imagine straight up demons on the battlefield sometimes, <laughs> and you'll be like, <laughs> okay, and then you like go off and you'll see what you fought, and it was like a salary man. So do it, please, so that we can get Yakuza Dead Souls too. Yakuza the Dead, that is the Japanese name. There you um, go, please. Yes. But that's it for 13 Nights of Halloween this night. Say goodbye, Toast. Bye, everyone. Peace out.